New developments when it comes to traveling with masks. A federal judge lifting the nationwide mass transit mandate, but San Francisco agencies mostly keeping the mask mandate. Muni, Bard, and Caltrain all requiring masks. They are not required at local airports or on planes. Masks also not needed in your next Uber or Lyft. And the White House has not indicated any plans to appeal the federal judge's decision. CBS News' Naomi Ruckham has the latest from New York. Many travelers at LaGuardia Airport opted to wear masks Tuesday morning, but some did not. I think it should be up to what the person wants. If it makes other feel com people comfortable to wear it, then I would wear it. If not, I wouldn't. A federal judge struck down the mask mandate for airplanes and mass transit Monday, prompting cheers from passengers mid-flight when they heard the news. The Transportation Security Administration will no longer enforce the federal mandate requiring masks in all U.S. airports and onboard aircraft. The ruling leaves it up to airlines, airports, and mass transit systems to make their own decisions about mask requirements. Travelers had mixed reaction to the end of the mandate. I think it's time to just kind of get on with life. We can't act like it doesn't exist. So just to be safe, even though they let our guards down, that's when it'll come back on us. The CDC had recently extended the mandate until May because of the BA2 Omicron subvariant. But the judge, who was appointed by former President Donald Trump, ruled that the CDC had overstepped its authority. The Biden administration expressed disappointment with the judge's decision, but did not indicate that it plans to appeal. It's safer for individuals who are flying to continue to wear masks. So we would say to anyone sitting out there, we'd recommend you wear masks on the airplane. Uber also ended its mask policy for drivers and riders, but New York City's public transit system plans to keep its mask requirement in place. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York.